Hi guys. I am putting together some more videos today. So I thought today I would talk about a few topics that I get a lot of questions about. One of them is um, first quality versus second quality and the stickers. And um, the first thing I always hear is I haven't, I got a piece and it doesn't have a quality sticker on it. So again, I'm talking about artist each now. So I'll give you an example. When you have a piece, normally you see this white tag. Sometimes the first quality um, tags will be blue. Um, we'll go over why that is another time, but um, if a piece doesn't have, I, I want people to understand that the stickers on these pieces mean nothing other than someone at the factory looked this over and deemed it to be first quality. And for the most part, that's true. But if it doesn't have a sticker, then you've got to determine it for yourself, right? And I want to give you some examples of how the sticker doesn't always tell the whole story. Um, so it's important for you to understand how to look over your pottery, uh, what's an actual flaw that makes it unusable, um, and what really just doesn't matter. So whenever you order from Artistichna, and this actually goes for Zyklati as well, and I would assume the bigger factories like Manufactura also do the same thing, that when you're ordering from there, you have to accept that up to 10% of your product that you order will be second quality, and there's nothing you can do about it. They don't make you first qualities at their second, They're, you just have to accept the seconds. Um, so that's number one. I have been very fortunate in this last year, ramping up the business and stuff, that I've had maybe 1% come back as seconds, but it's gonna happen eventually. But I got some of this last shipment, I'm gonna show you an example of why the seconds, there's nothing wrong with them. Whenever, if we have a second, I usually will put it on sale and let you know that it's a second and show you pictures of why it's that way. But I just wanted to give you some examples. So here's the first example that I have. These are pie birds, aren't they cute? Same exact pattern. This one was deemed first quality. You can see their little shortened abbreviated sticker there. This one has the telltale green second quality sticker on it. Now. I have looked this thing over. This is not on the website, by the way. I have looked this thing over, <laughs> and I'm gonna have you look it over, and you tell me where you see the difference, okay? There's that, the signs, the backs, the other side, tops, bottoms. Don't see much, do ya? And so let's first talk about what a second quality is. Second quality piece um, is usually one of only two things. It has a flaw, oh, actually it could be one of three things, sorry. It has a flaw um, in the painting, which is what I think is wrong with this one. If you look closely on this one, there's a smudge under the eye. Okay. So does that make this piece any less usable than this piece? No. That's the thing about second quality you need to know. Second quality does not mean that you cannot use this piece in every single way that you can use a first quality piece. The point of second quality is let you know there is a cosmetic issue with it. Not functional, not structural. It is strictly cosmetic. So if you get a second quality baker, you can pop that baby in the oven like you would a first quality and it, it, it should be just fine. Um, second quality, aside from paint smudges, could include um, a little bit of pitting. Pitting is normal, and in fact, you can get a certain amount of pitting in first quality pieces as well. Um, it does not affect the integrity of the base or the integrity of the piece. In fact, every piece um, that you're gonna bake with has an unglazed rim. And so a little bit of pitting or a glaze skip is just another unglazed spot. It doesn't affect the quality of your piece. So you might have some pitting, you might have paint smudges. Or the other thing is you might have, um, the piece might be distorted. You know, when these come out of the molds, sometimes they're soft and so they can easily be distorted. But distorting does not necessarily mean it's going to be labeled second quality. And I'm gonna give you an example of that. So here I've got two bakers. I believe this is shape 784, 748, 784. So 78, these are fantastic by the way. Um, it's basically a long loaf baker. Um, not as wide as a traditional bread pan, but they're amazing. So if you look at this, it looks nice, right? Nice, even sides, um, rated first quality piece. And it is, no doubt. The other piece, exact same piece, rated first quality piece, is a little bit wider up. It's not exactly straight on the sides. This is completely normal. 
Um, this does not indicate a second quality piece. This does not mean that there is something wrong with the piece. Some people like perfection and they feel like if they don't get this with the straighter lines and they get this, that somehow this is inferior. That's not true. Um, and this is not second quality. So this isn't the kind of distortion that would qualify for a second quality piece. Um, so if you get a piece that is a little bit off, remember it's a handmade product. I mean, nothing is going to be perfect. Occasionally you get a piece that looks like it's super perfect, but it's not very common. And it's okay, it's completely okay. Um, so I've got these, I've got Christmas items that have been coming in all year and our snowmen are starting to show up, right? So this one has been rated second quality by the factory. This one's been rated first quality. Now, again, I've been looking these things over. <laughs> you can see the pattern on both. Pattern looks good. It's not faded, it's not smudged. Um, the colors are bright, the hats, it's all painted well. So remember, this is the second quality, supposedly. Um, you can see the seam on this one from the mold, but all of them have that. So I don't, that's not it. Um, if I look at the bottom, the bottom has a little bit extra on his little booty. Um, but again, most of them have that. So that's, that to me isn't a second quality thing. So I have not figured out other than possibly, I think I might've seen a little paint smudge on him. Wait a minute, I think I did, I think I did. Ah, there we go. So the only thing I can think of is right here. I don't know if you can see it. There's some, just a slight paint smudge on there. That's the only thing I can find. That's the only thing I can find. So again, I, you know, it's marked second, but this is marked first and they're quality wise. I can't find a difference. They just can't find a difference, but somebody at the factory saw something and you have to sort of be, um, you have to be mindful and look and, you know, I'll note it when I sell it and let people decide for themselves. So I also wanted to show you this as a last thing here, just to, remind you that the sticker does not always tell you what's happening. So this mug here, a lot of you will notice, um, you will recognize this is 4018. This is actually um, painted, designed by the artist, Yasik, painted by him. You can see there. You can see the first quality sticker, very clear, right? Okay, what's wrong with this? I'll give you the full tour around. This is not a first quality piece. Oh, there's some glare from the window. Do you see it yet? Okay, so look at the handle. The handle, which by the way, this is not fired in one whole piece, that's another video, but the handle was not put on correctly, so look. So whomever at the factory looked at this piece, said, oh, it's first, put the sticker on it, and off it went. And the person who originally bought this, the distributor who bought this, paid a first quality price, but you can't sell this. I mean, you can sell it, but it's got a significant flaw. This is not even a second quality flaw. Uh, I would rate that as a third or a fourth because it's structurally, it's a first quality piece and you're not gonna use it in the oven and it's perfectly okay to put something hot in it, but it's structurally not together. It's not a sound piece like it's supposed to be. So for me, it does not even qualify for a second quality, but yet rated first. So the point is just because it has this sticker, you've got to learn to identify and pay attention to your pieces. Um, in the next video, I'm going to show you how to identify a structurally sound piece without stickers. Um, I've, I've done this before for you guys. Um, it's about making your pottery sing and it's a really effective way to figure out whether or not your stoneware has a flaw. If you're buying from the marketplace or Craigslist or an antique shop or a secondhand store or whatever, or you get it from the factory. Um, it's just a good way of being able to tell with most pieces whether or not you've got a structurally sound piece. So I'm going to show you that next. But anyway, pay attention. Not always valid. Use your eyes, feel, touch, hear. Um, and that's how you'll know whether or not your pottery is worth the price that you paid. And second quality is not inferior. It's just slight cosmetic, cosmetic flaws. Um, so there you go.